Germany is in recession. Revised figures for the first quarter show the German economy shrank by 0.3%. That followed another quarter of falling GDP at the end of last year, meeting the criteria for a technical recession. The original figure for Q1 suggested the German economy stagnated, but new data shows that that wasn't the case. A big reason seems to be the failure of private consumption to support the economy in the face of high inflation rates. A mild winter meant that Germany avoided what could have been an even deeper recession. Well, let's discuss this with Veronica Grimm, who is on the German Council of Economic Experts, which advises the German government. Thanks a lot for joining us on DW Business. So why, in the end, wasn't Germany able to avoid recession? Yeah, the numbers um, for the first quarter of 23 are worse than expected. Um, high prices, uh, in particular, weighed on the German economy. Demand and, in particular, consumptions, uh, consumption declined. And um, overall, we are moving away from supply constraints toward uh, demand constraints, uh, which is, of course, due to the high prices and also due to the restrictive um, monetary policy, which is important to um, bring inflation down. Inflation is still high. So uh, we are in a very challenging situation now um, where we have a stagnation and at the same time high inflation. Yeah, indeed. How does the government react to this revised figure? Does anything change now that we know that the country was actually in a technical recession in the first quarter? Yeah, there are a lot of discussions. Of course, the numbers just came out, so it is not yet unclear how the government in particular will react. I think it is very important to increase uh, supply, supply of energy to bring inflation down. I think also it is important that uh, the European Central Bank uh, really uh, manages soft lending uh, without provoking a too strong recession by too strict monetary policy, but at the same time not loosen too early, which is, of course, um, a challenge in this situation, because if inflation comes back, then the situation would be even worse. So can we try and predict how long Germany is likely to stay in this recession? Because previous forecasts have suggested that overall this year, Germany was going to be seeing growth. But is that still the case? Yeah, the latest evaluation of business indices, for example, the business uh, climate index of the EFU Institute, suggests that the economic mood is not brightening up uh, at any time soon. So um, the index fell from 91 points uh, in uh, May uh, to 91 points uh, in May from 93 points in April. So I think we will have a period of stagnation and it's very important to um, accelerate investments, to initiate investment incentives uh, for industry and in energy, um, generation capacity and all the things that will contribute to bringing prices down um, in the bro overall. OK, Veronica Grimm, it's always interesting to hear what you've got to say on these things. Thank you so much, Veronica Grimm, from the German Council of Economic Experts. Thank you. Now, that news of Germany slipping into recession comes on the same day as a new report shows that the country's businesses are getting less innovative. According to Germany's Bertelsmann Foundation, nearly 40% of German companies are choosing not to invest in innovation. That's up from a little over a quarter three years ago. Well, to discuss the Bertelsmann Foundation's findings further, let's speak to Armando Garcia Schmidt, who's from the foundation. Thanks a lot for joining us on DW Business. So why aren't German companies innovating? So um, German companies are innovating, but uh, they are innovating less and less and fewer companies are innovating. So um, we did a study uh, uh, now and we did a first study three years ago in 2019 and we see that the proportion of, of companies that are not actively looking for innovations is constantly growing. So it has grown only this past three years from 27 to almost 40% of uh, the, the, the whole uh, landscape of, of enterprises. The way you phrase that, that they're not looking 
to innovate makes it seem like an active decision on behalf of companies. Is it the case that they're, they're choosing not to be innovative for whatever business reasons? I, I think there are different reasons for that. So, we, we for example, we asked uh, the, uh, the companies um, how they uh, did, uh, so what, what they did with their innovation activities during the corona pandemic. So we think that, or we see with our study that the corona pandemic is for sure one um, uh, one uh, driver of this uh, thing, of, 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 of this. Um, so we see that 42% uh, of the companies that already had been more cautious uh, 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 with regard to innovation, uh, that they did during the corona uh, pandemic, they postponed or they completely canceled their innovation activities. So the, the already planned acti uh, innovation activities. And um, even now, uh, uh, we see also studies from, from other institutes uh, like the uh, ZEW, which show that these uh, companies don't really come back to the status they had before uh, corona. And we think so corona is a driver for sure, but um, we think that uh, uh, more so small and medium-sized enterprises, which had been uh, uh, in earlier times innovative, they are going out of uh, the innovation uh, run since. So there is a couple of, 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 of reasons for that. So, so it's, it's getting more and more um, uh, 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 so complicated to, to, yeah. to, to, to I, innovate. I, I, th I think these findings um, are going to really surprise people, though, because... It's been spoken of for quite a while that Germany needs to innovate more if it's going to keep up with competitors in Asia and the United States. So to find that the, the trend is going in the other direction, I mean, what does that mean for the German economy going forward? Uh, so, so we think that, that that is really a danger for, for German economy and for, for the German society, if you, if you want to. So we see also with our study that, for example, highly innovative companies uh, make a more dynamic contribution to the labor market. So uh, uh, highly innovative companies, um, they, for example, uh, have even during the pandemic, they uh, had a, 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 a recorded an average increase in employees twice as high as the average of for all companies. So, so there's an uh, uh, that, that's really a, a danger for prosperity in, in Germany, and we see also with our study. So we have um, all all developed economies. We have the the, the big challenge of of uh, transition towards sustainability, and we see that also the the highly innovative uh, uh, firms they are investing more in sustainability and in the search for sustainability or sustainable solutions. Well, on the day that we learned that Germany slipped into a re recession, this is a surprising and I suppose troubling news for the German economy, but Armando Garcia-Schmidt from Bertelsmann Stiftung, thank you so much for joining us on DW Business.